Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to take Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 4 and we're going to give someone the angelic glow effect. Now I want to thank Frank Kovalchuk aka Alaskan Dude over at Flickr for letting me use this photo using the Creative Commons license. Let's go ahead and take a look at what I did. We have some really nice soft angelic glowing effect on this image right here. Let's go to reset to show you the original image to go ahead and reset that and there's the original image and as you can tell there's some harsh details that are on there but it does make a good looking picture but in this case we're going to give her a very angelic glowing effect the first thing I like to do after I've opened a photo in the develop mode right here in Photoshop Lightroom 4 is I like to slide all the way down onto the sharpening area now one of the things is is if you don't see the zoomed in part that you want zoomed in you can click on this little area right there and select an area normally we like to select the eyes then it's pretty safe to sharpen about 100 and then not mess around with the radius or anything so go ahead and go up to about a hundred and we're gonna sharpen that image then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the adjustment brush which is right here we're gonna click on it and then we're gonna go down to check show selected mask overlay and what we want to do is we want to just paint over her right there we want to make sure that we get her face and her hair and bits of her arm right there and over the top of her chest and the other arm and that's about all that we want to uh, include on this particular effect everything else we're going to leave out so once we're done with that we're going to check the uh, uncheck the select mask overlay right there then we're going to go over up where it has this gray area and wherever we painted that's where we're going to adjust so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the clarity slider if I slide that clarity slider to the right you can see that a lot more details come into play because it's taking the highlights and kind of dimming those down but we really don't want this on her we want to go the other direction so what I like to do is I like to slide the clarity slider all the way to the left and as you can tell it's starting to get that nice angelic soft glow but then we need to increase the exposure just a little bit right there because we want her to be glowing just a little bit more and we want to de-emphasize the background the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the noise levels all the way down and then as you can see this is a really nice looking picture once we're done with that we're going to select done now if you want to adjust it any more don't forget it's going to include everything else so if you want to take the clarity down a little bit more and really go hog wild with this angelic glow effect you can do that but of course that's just a little bit too much I hope you enjoyed that using the clarity slider in reverse to give people that angelic glow effect. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, favorite my videos, and pass the link on to your friends. Cheers!